I think that Casper is a sleeping giant. Why is that? It's because as of right now, it's still below the price of five cents, which is insane. I believe that Casper during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of five dollars. And even though that's not financial advice nor guarantee, why do I think that way? It's because Casper, in my opinion, is one of the best layer one blockchains out there. Now, when I say this, a lot of those Ethereum fanboys, they may not be that happy. They may think, well, wow, you know, why are you saying that, man? Isn't Ethereum the best layer one blockchain out there? I don't think so. I think Casper, as a matter of fact, is a lot better than something like Ethereum, which I think is pretty much caca, because when you take a look at Ethereum, it's not scalable as of right now, and gas fees, they're sky high. And as a matter of fact, according to Ethereum's very own co-founder, Charles Hoskinson, who's also the founder of Cardano, he predicts that it may take Ethereum up to four more years to become scalable, which is complete nonsense. You know, Ethereum currently is not able to solve the blockchain trilemma. However, Casper has been able to achieve that because when we take a look at the blockchain trilemma, what is it, right? It's decentralization, scalability, and security. Having all of those three at the same time, Casper, they've been able to achieve just that, unlike Ethereum. You know, Casper, a lot of people regard it as being Ethereum 3.0 because on top of being proof of stake, much like Ethereum, Casper has that added feature of being scalable. So again, Casper, in my opinion, is just hands down a lot better than something like Ethereum. You know, Ethereum, it's kind of like a early 2000s Nokia phone. You know, imagine this, right? This is an iClicker. If you've been to college, you'll probably know what this is. But imagine this is a Nokia phone from the early 2000s. It's got Bluetooth. You know, it has a camera that's 6.9 megapixels. Yeah, that was good back then, right? But now, is a phone like a Nokia phone? You know, is it good? I don't think so. Much like Ethereum. Ethereum, it's like a Nokia from the early 2000s. You know, it was good back in 2018. But as of right now, I think that it's fallen behind when it comes to the times. I think Casper is the new age of later one blockchains. And Casper, very amazingly, it's focused on enterprise market. A lot of other projects out there, they're focused on the retail market. And this could provide a lot of short to medium term gains, in my opinion. But true long-term growth, I think, is only going to come from enterprise adoption because enterprises, they have the capital, they have the resources, and they have the volume to facilitate growth at such a massive scale. We take a look at, in history, what fosters the growth of the internet. It was enterprise adoption. You know, history doesn't always repeat itself, but it tends to rhyme. And I think that enterprise market is where all the potential is at. And there's actually data that shows how this could very well be the case. Because if we take a look at this, we will see that 94% of Fortune 500 executives have already begun planning blockchain initiatives, which is a very shocking statistic. In addition, 75% of global executives fear a loss of a competitive advantage if they don't adopt blockchain technology. So again, right, not only is history indicating that the enterprise market is where a lot of the potential is at, but there's also even data right now that's showing how enterprises are starting to gravitate towards blockchain technology. You know, I do believe that once large-scale institutional adoption for the blockchain technology market kicks in, I think at that point, projects that are focused on the enterprise market right now are the ones that are truly going to prosper because, you know, a lot of projects out there, they're not well-equipped to handle enterprise adoption, but Casper, it's built from the ground up to handle enterprise adoption. So Casper, in my opinion, is placing itself in such an amazing position because, Again, right, when that wave finally kicks in, Casper is just going to go along with the ride. You know, it's much better anticipating a trend as opposed to chasing it, in my opinion. We take a look also at history. We take a look at Amazon. Why was Amazon so successful? You know, I believe that a major contributing factor was the fact that it launched back in the 90s. If Amazon, let's say, you know, launched today, let's say Jeff Bezos wanted to make it in 2024, would it be all that successful? I don't really think so. I think that launching back in the 90s really gave it such an amazing advantage. And I think that Casper is somewhat emulating Amazon because Casper, it's entering at such an early time, in my opinion. Again, right, not many projects out there are properly equipped to handle enterprise adoption, but Casper is. Man, Casper is such a pioneer, in my opinion. And also, let's not forget, Casper has something called CEP78, which is its very own enterprise-grade NFT standard. And the reason why I even want to mention this is because a lot of NFT standards nowadays, they're not able to be upgraded and customized after they have it deployed, which is a major issue because as a result of that, 
enterprises, they are not able to adopt NFTs on a large scale. But through CP78, NFTs, they can do just that. They can be upgraded and customized after they have been deployed. So this right here is extremely revolutionary because Casper has quite essentially found a solution for NFTs to be adopted on a massive scale, which is crazy, man. I mean, that really right there truly showcases just how special Casper is, in my opinion. And when people say that, oh, NFTs suck, it has no future, I disagree. According to Granby Research, the NFT market by 2030 is expected to be worth over $211 billion. You know, that's bigger than some countries' GDP. And also, let's not forget Casper. They have an amazing staking ratio. Casper currently has a higher staking ratio than Cardano, Polkadot, Avalanche, Phantom, the Near Protocol, and even Polygon as well. Now, this is taking nothing away from the other blockchains that I just mentioned. But the fact that Casper has a higher staking ratio than them, I think that really speaks volumes as to just how special Casper is. However, it doesn't end there because Casper even already has over 100 projects on its ecosystem. Man, that right there, again, really just sets it off. And here's the thing. When I say Casper at the price of $5, they think, you know, at least these Casper critics, they may say, wow, you know, $5, that's crazy, man. God, I'm boha. But here's the thing. Casper at the price of $5, considering its current circulating supply, you know, it would only have a market cap of around $59 billion, which to some people may sound insane, but keep in mind, Dogecoin's all-time high market cap was around $88 billion. So is this crazy? Is reaching around $59 billion in market cap unrealistic in the world of cryptocurrencies? I think not. However, some people, they may complain, oh, it's not fair to compare something like Casper to Doge. Doge, a lot of fans, hype holders, community is very strong. You know, they may argue that, but I think it's still a fair comparison nonetheless, because I think this, if anything, truly showcases how the threshold to reach a high market cap in the world of cryptocurrencies, you know, it doesn't seem that high, right? And personally speaking, I believe that I made a lot of good calls lately. You take a look at the performance of Cody. I did a good call on that. Moon River, Avalanche. You take a look at as well as Storage, Jasmine, and many others. I think I made very good calls. And I think Casper is going to be the next one. And let's not forget, I even called the Super Bowl. I said that the Chiefs were going to win, and they did. But yeah. Again, Casper, I think, is going to be the next one to come along because, man, something this amazing, yet below 10 cents in price, that's ridiculous. It's just a matter of time before Casper truly explodes. And even if, let's say, in the next couple of months, Casper doesn't really move, I don't mind. I'll keep accumulating because I believe in its future. And Casper, it's going to go up one way or the other because I believe that the next bull run is going to be legendary. According to Crypto.com research, there's around 575 million people owning cryptocurrencies as we speak, which is indicating that as of right now, there's more people than ever before in history owning cryptocurrencies, which is ridiculous. And to just put this number into perspective, back in 2021, during that insane bull run at that time, there was roughly only around 300 million people owning cryptocurrencies. So now that we have nearly double that amount, could you just imagine what the next bull run is going to look like? The 2021 bull run was already Britney Spears type of level, right? Insane. If we take a look at the next bull run now, again, that we have this many people, it could very well be Travis Kelsey yelling at Andy Reid at the Super Bowl type of insane, if you know what I mean. The next altcoin season is going to be legendary, and I think that Casper is going to go along with the ride. It wouldn't surprise me whatsoever if Casper did hypothetically go to the price of $5. You know, when I consider, again, just how insane the next bull run could be, and also when I consider the amazing fundamental A-plus qualities of something like Casper. And keep in mind, the next bull run could very well be right around the corner because even though we're seeing a lot of altcoins right now doing a 4x, 5x, you know, in some cases a 10x, even over that, right? I think that this is just a very small taste of what's to come because the altcoin season, usually, historically speaking, fully kicks in anywhere between 6 to 12 months after a Bitcoin halving event. And the Bitcoin halving event is anticipated to happen sometime around April of this year. So again, it could very well be party time soon for us Casper believers, and I can't wait. I'll be so excited. Man, all those Casper critics are going to be running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma, and they're going to be begging for a used Bratwurst extender to lead the Captain Edition. While a Casper believer... 
they're probably going to be off at Applebee's or Sizzler, tipping the waiter 69.69% and celebrating, if you know what I mean. Time to get that surf and turf, if you know what I mean. I am extremely bullish on Casper. Hashtag Casper at the price of $5 during the next pool run. And of course, that's all financial advice. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it. It's Boone Lee, the captain. I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.